Located in the heart of the Barossa Valley, Angerson is one of South Australia's oldest towns. Locals are incredibly proud of this quaint village. Vibrant, friendly, prosperous, historic, rich in food and wine, a tourist mecca nestled in the Barossa Ranges. Stage one, what a great start. First time ever up the corkscrew, made famous in the tour down under. Certainly it will set the stage up for the rest of the tour. Yeah, first race of the um, NRS, so there's probably um, some nervous legs in the peloton, but it's a pretty exciting stage, 84 kilometres and finishing off with the famous corkscrew. So um, it'll, be, it'll be exciting and it'll be interesting how much it sets up GC for the rest of the tour. They rolled out of Angerson as a groupetto of 59 riders. At the 30 kilometre mark, Loretta Hansen from the building champion squad went solo, never got out to more than a minute, but was away for 30 kilometres. The profile looks downhill, but um, we still had to keep a fair bit of pressure on. And um, yeah. yeah, slight headwind, uh, yeah, it just wasn't fun. Hit the corkscrew climb. Again at the bottom there was no real attacks, it was just a race of attrition, the riders were coming off the back and then the Holden Racing team got on the front. I had a free ride the whole way because my teammates all did their job perfectly and um, I just had to attack at the bottom of the climb. Roof course at the mother of three, led from the front, rode away from the riders. They were strung out over 700 metres in individual file. Roof Corset crested the climb first, followed very closely by Lizzie Williams from the uh, Securist team. You want it to be hard and fast, that's the way I like it. And yeah, up the corkscrew, it's a tough climb and yeah, I guess it sorts people out. Roof Corset held on to that lead. She had a 20 second lead. She rated all the way to finish. They were never gonna catch her. Yeah, pretty confident that um, well, my team will do a good job keeping me in the lead. Uh, yeah, <sighs> great teamwork though. <laughs> but yeah, there's some strong teams out there, some strong girls, so you never know what's going to happen. Such a good thing for the NRS to have so many high quality guys racing it and just walking around here today being the first NRS I did to see the amount of teams that are now coordinated with bike brands and it's just really stepping up to being quite a professional scene which is great to see. In the men's race round two of the National Road Series and certainly we've got a great field 164 starters again going over corkscrew this will be a great stage for the men. You know, stage one is going to be the deciding factor. Whoever sort of you know goes away in, in, in contention with the yellow jersey today is probably going to take it to the end of the end of the tour. So, you know, we're going to play our cards probably to the last climb up the corkscrew. A lot of the riders on the team are really familiarised with the climb, so I think you know controlling it up until there, and then we're going to let our guys you know do some damage on the climb. So at 17 kilometres in, 11 riders got away. The most notable have been Wes Salzberger, who's ridden the Pro Tour in Europe from Drapak Racing, also his teammate Jonathan Cantwell. I was expecting, yeah, when some of the other bigger teams to launch across or shut it down, but um, yeah, that didn't happen, so I was re yeah, really surprised myself. We were getting time checks out there and we heard that it was uh, two minutes, and then next thing we know that we heard the bunches chasing, so we kind of said, all right, let, let's, uh, let's, let's just drive it a little bit harder. Back in the main group, you had Avanti Racing and Budget Forklifts realised they'd let a break get away, didn't have representation, and they worked hard to bring it back but they left their run too late. The, the road was, was super tight and super twisty, so once we hit those roads, it's, it's pretty, pretty much obvious it's going to stay, you know. A group of 10 is going to keep away from a group of, of 100 pretty easily. They worked well together. They stretched the lead out to 2 minutes 25 till they hit the bottom of Corkscrew Road. It was down to 2 minutes. It's, it's a very steep little climb. It's about 2.5k long, but um, pitches up there just, yeah, quite steep, 17% probably. Up Corkscrew Road, we saw Wes Salzberger take control with Cameron Peterson from the Peloton sports team. They edged away from the chasing group as the main brake splintered. It was very, very hard, but um, as soon as Wes hit it, I was able to hold his wheel, and that for me was something pretty good. I was pretty proud of that, and uh, yeah, just roll over the hill. Salzberger went away with Peterson. They descended up to 80 kilometers an hour down to the finish, 
last couple of K he was um, I think he was feeling pretty pretty good and he sort of just started ramping up the pace and I let him do that and then kicked off him on the last 500. Where Wes Wolfsorger took the victory and he's going to take the race lead from Peterson. The main contenders, Jonathan Cantwell, won the bunch sprint, Joe Cooper, 39 seconds in arrears going into stage two. Yeah, Jonathan Cantwell was third on the stage as well, so yeah, that was a really good effort by him to, um, to scramble over the climb with the rest of the guys and, and then finish off the sprint for third. Oh, they're going to be smashing the trailers tomorrow.